What's up everyone, it's Dolbeck, your favorite French Canadian, today with another new world video and we are gonna speak about the hidden tech, yes the hidden technique that the people are not really speaking about, yes your build is bad, nah I'm just kidding, alright so there's a chess piece called the Natsu Rat chess piece or Rat 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 yeah, the Natsu uh, uh, Rat, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, this chess piece, you know, this chess piece is gonna give you 20% base damage, and you know what is the base damage? It's not the empowerment, the base damage can the, not really have a cap like the empowerment, that cap at 50%, and you know what is the empowerment? It empower your base damage, so... Your 20% base damage of the Nature Rat, if you get a 50% empower, it's gonna get like 50% empower on the 20% too. So the 20% gonna become a 30%. So this is kinda crazy when you think about it. The Nature Rat chess piece gonna make you do more DPS than any other chess piece, only because the other item that gives you empowerment have the cap and even if it was giving 20% empowerment that it does nothing because how to say that your empowerment empower the base damage and not sure what chess piece is base damage that is getting empowered by the empowerment Ugh. So now let's speak about the time at empower the downside of the not sure what chess piece is that all the empower, all the time and power, you're gonna lose it. Like the, if you're using the blunderbuss as example, there's like a, a, a perk that when you reload, you gain a, a, a damage buff, and then it stay every time you reload, and you can just keep shooting. It's called ramp. Uh, well, th this don't work with the natural watch piece. Uh, there's a couple of bad passive on the fire staff that is not gonna work because they are time. Uh, passive too, like uh, you need to take care of what you do. If you pull out the void gauntlet and you pull out the tether, the tether gonna do nothing. It's it's gonna do the enfeebling, just not the empowerment. All right. But uh, you're gonna see that there's a non-timed empower. Let's speak about leadership as example. When the the tank is using leadership, is gonna give. 10% empower to all the group and it's not a timed empower so it will always stay there during the whole dungeon all right uh but it's only a, a group of five people that it stay and yeah oh this dog is so sweet all right so uh you have leadership that can do that you can have a ring like a Let's say fire ring as example or a slash ring. Uh, and then uh, you see this is already an empower. It go to 7.5% with the 725 gear, the new update. So it's already a lot. And then you're gonna have the gems. You can have some gems that give you 2% uh, empower on element. And you have some other gem that give you 1% on melee. So you can have a 5% there or a 5% um, melee DPS or a 10% uh, um, elemental DPS. And then you have the harnessing where you can gain another elemental DPS, 10% elemental DPS. That is always gonna stay. So this is kind of crazy when you think about it. Uh, you can have a uh, harnessing build on the bow, spear, musket, blunderbuss, uh, every non-slash weapon into the new raid, you're gonna have it. Like, when it's weapon that the uh, mob are not weak to, like, let's say it's corrupted and you're using a void gauntlet because you're the healer, you're gonna put a sapphire into your void gauntlet, and then you're gonna have a harnessing build uh, that, that's gonna make you do more arcane DPS, and then you're gonna have gem, that boosts your arcane DPS too. And then you're gonna have the Natsur Watch chest piece, just their void blading to the moon, man. So the Natsur Watch chest piece do be the net, the best chest piece to DPS, 100% sure. Uh, but 
the problem is uh, you can like if you put the harnessing on the natural what then you're gonna have to change it every time you're gonna fight a different type of mob and this is the big downside that make it hard and then what happened is gonna you're gonna have to to play around the other item around it but this type of build can be a bit jack of all trade so uh, there's other option you're gonna see if you're if you have split stats the atuned leather pants can be okay but it's for sure not strong like the natsuwa chest piece if you want to have the best of the best it's gonna be the natsuwa chest piece and then if you want to do a less DPS but still perform good, it's going to be the Atune Leather Pants. But once again, it's an artifact and the artifact, you are stuck that you cannot put the, um, the harnessing on it. And it's going to be pretty hard to change that piece when you're going to change dungeon to so like you cannot put a gem that makes you do f more fire DPS because you're gonna need to change that gem and you're gonna lose a lot of money if you change all your gem like this and I did it during a while and I, this is one of the reasons why I'm not rich uh, in the game it's because I do all the, the build and I put them dissed out most of the people you're gonna see that are rich in the game they are just not spending for real like just how it be it's like in real life all right so uh and then there's the feeder weight. The feeder weight is like now the one of the worst artifacts you can have, but it's gonna protect you and save your life. So if you're new into the game and you're just seeking to survive because you always die and people complain because you're dying, your problem is not with the DPS. It's just that you're always dying and you, you have hard time to just learn because you get one tap all the time. Then I would recommend you to put feeder weight with two AV armor piece and then you're gonna survive better but uh, you're gonna do l less DPS than someone with a Netsu what chest piece or the Atune leather pants and you're gonna do even less than someone using a build with full harnessing because if I don't use the Netsu what chest piece myself all right while I'm doing myself I'm gonna give you my tip my natural watch chest piece is on my mage build and the build that I'm using most of them just don't have artifact on it it's just a full harnessing build with all my harnessing perk and uh, the gem I needed to it I have a like a fire harnessing I have five four fire harnessing build uh, there, there's one with natural gem into it one with ice one with fire so I don't I can change a uh, set every week and I don't have to change the gem because the gem gonna stay into it so you can put some gem that costs more and then you're gonna have some some gem with the empowerment into it into every one of your set and then that's gonna this is why being a jack of all trade and doing a bunch of different roles like I do is hard and cost a lot because if you really want to mid max one roll you're gonna need four set for this roll minimum like the spear as example you're gonna need four set minimum depending on the number of mutation type maybe there's gonna be more mutation type so you're gonna need one set per mutation type and then for each roll you're gonna need one set two and there's like 11 rolls so you're gonna need like four set per roll so it's like 44 set that you're gonna need so if you tell me you're rich in this game you you did not do that because it's impossible to like be rich and do it like there, there's some moment that, that i was rich but i i i I've, um i got scammed too during a moment but yeah like if you really want all the beasts in the game you're not supposed to be rich all right so uh Peter weight is mostly for either, but you don't need it. You you almost better to use uh, the Natsurwat or the Atune Leather Pants. Uh, the Oblivion, when you're stepping into the Oblivion, it's Empower. That's the, so the Oblivion is great for that too. So let's say that uh, with your Awning Stone, uh, you, it's 7%. Then you have 20% from the Harnessing and the Gen. It's a... Uh, yeah you have that and then you have the ring 
Uh, the ring puts you like at 30%, like 35% almost. Like, even if you're not into Oblivion at this moment, you're already at 35%. You step into the Oblivion, bang, you're, you're cap. Like, uh, you you don't need to have any and uh, like any empower that is time as a dps you don't need it in pve because you're gonna have the harnessing the gem and etc and even if you don't have the gem it's only like a 10 percent and having like 30 percent empower and a 20 percent on your natural chest what gonna be more than a 50 emp percent empower even if you reach 50 percent because the stats that you're gonna gain on your natural watches piece gonna be uh empowered by the empowerment all right so this is it for this video uh it's long enough when i think about it and um, if i have more information on the, on the subject i'm gonna do if i forget something tell me i know that there's some new artifact that come out if you want me to to make video about one or tell you if uh, one or the other is better or whatever there is some good artifact out there it's just that the uh, not so chess piece uh, it i just hope they're not gonna nerf it because it's a great thing to have everyone i wish you a good day thanks for watching my video supporting my content have a good day peace out